Hello, my name is Alex Ryan, and I'm here to talk about my new student dialogue that I attended on um, the mental health and college students. And to answer the first question that they ask is, um, do I believe we received dialogue? And I believe yes, we did. We learned at the beginning about what dialogue is, and I thought it was very interesting how they group the way people talk to each other and how there's debate and then there's like just talking and then there's dialogue which is like very open understanding and always encouraging not to put people down or put person in a corner and like fight them up on something and our group was very open to everything we always listened we never went oh you're totally wrong you're wrong we never did that to somebody if we believe someone was wrong we'd say like I believe this is my opinion and I say I think this but I can understand where you're coming from from there. And we never put somebody down for something they said or wrote or any of that and during the dialogue. And I thought that was a very interesting way. And I find it, I think it's a very useful tactic for us to learn in college. Because honestly, people can be so mean to people and be so cruel. But it's a good thing to learn right away to be more open to society and other people. It will help, even with our topic, it will help people that have mental problems because those are the type of people that don't can't think so, sometimes have problems in their brain that they can't think right, and by being more open, you'll help them. Um, there, are, there are definitely some more people that would talk more than others during the dialogue. Um, they would carry us, so if there was an awkward silence or something, they'd always break it. There, always be like, there was always like a few guys in the class and then the two people that ran the class if they would they would make sure that we talked and not just them the whole time and that it really does help that there are some people out there that are so outgoing to help us through those slow times if you will and um me personally I mean my personal like help during the dialogue is I just contributed but they asked, I mean, I wasn't one of the outgoing people that kept breaking the silence and asking every question, but I did contribute. I, would, I said my thoughts on things. I mean, the way they made us all say something at least three times during the whole entire dialogue. We all met with other people and learned about what the, where they came from, and we would talk about where we came from. So, I mean, I did that. So I, I mean I didn't I wasn't the active person in the group but I was I did contribute and so did everyone else in our dialogue and I think that's essential for a dialogue to work is everybody has to contribute and everyone did I mean and we never we it wasn't a fearful thing to contribute it's just sometimes you just don't know what to say but it it, it was a really good experience to learn that I mean I'll talk more about what our dialogue was about. I mean, we learned, we did a big thing about mental health. So we talked about the major things, problems in students here for mental health, which is mainly text, test anxiety, which is a very common thing in college students. I personally don't have test anxiety. I've never really had it. I've, I've been a good test taker my whole life. I think that's one of the reasons why I got higher grades in school. I'm a little lazy when it comes to schoolwork, but tests I was always good at. But there's those people that study really hard and work hard, and I, the harder you work, sometimes it's the more it is to you because you build it up so much. But I mean, we talked about it, and it's it's really interesting to see the point of views of people that do have it and see how we we, st we first discussed it. We would stand quietly in in the middle, and if you agreed to having it, you'd walk one way, and if you don't, you walk the other. And you never you know, there's no judging, there's no pushing, there's no talking. You just do it. And it's really nice to see, like, there are a lot of people with something, and some people don't think the other way. And it's it's really nice to see that, like, you're not alone on what you have. And it's good. It's a good thing. I mean, test anxiety is a really big deal in college, obviously. I mean, there was only, like, me and, like, two other people that have never had it or don't get nervous. Like, they, they don't have that test anxiety thing. And it's also, at the end... I think was one of the biggest things we talked about. So we put on the, we had these sheets on the board, or on the walls, and it had common um, mental illnesses, schizophrenia, bipolar disorders, um, what was it, 
um, addiction, things like that, and we put on, we had note pad, like little note, sticky notes, and we put on what we had to say, and everybody put on a word that they symbolized with addiction or schizophrenics, and some words that, or stereotypes, if you will, that people come up with are so bad and so mean to, and there are things that people still think, but when we all talked about it, we realized as a group, that's not something you should think of, like schizophrenia, a crazy person. I mean, we had examples in class of people that just have schizophrenic that aren't crazy, that have normal lives. It's not their fault. And you can't call them a bad person for something they can't control. I mean, addiction, people said, bad person. They're you're not bad. Some people are born with an addictive personality. I myself am one of those people. I'm not an addict to anything. I just have an addictive personality. And you learn that just because of certain things that, that put you at disadvantage doesn't make you a bad person. Everybody has some type of problem. And I find that to be a really helpful topic to talk in a dialogue type setting because no one can be put you, put you down for what you say. So that's my experience in New Student Dialogue, and I find it very helpful, and I think it will be a very nice thing for me to use as I'm further in Clemson, my Clemson, oh, whatever you call it, going on through the years. I mean, it's it's a nice thing for the freshmen to learn, and I think they should continue it because it keeps it will hopefully make more some of the people more open-minded to others. Thank you, and bye.